Welcome back, explorer. How about a little spelunking? If it's a cave you crave, then you'll be right at home here. Just be warned, these passages can be a little stalactite. And if you're not careful, you stalagmite meet your end here. And if you think these puns are lethal, just wait until you see some of the truly horrific creatures lurking in and around the caverns you're about to risk your life traversing. Welcome to level 8. We hope you brought spare batteries for your flashlight. That's because this level is an incredibly complex and treacherous series of caves, caverns, and tunnels leading off into infinity. Level 8 not only possesses all the unique dangers of the back rooms, but it also has all of the dangers that make regular earth caves hazardous to traverse if you don't have preparation, equipment, and expertise. It's treacherous, uneven terrain largely kept in near dark, with the added danger provided by trickling rivulets of almond water, making the ground and walls extra slippery. Plant life is incredibly sparse here on level 8. The most you're likely to find are some dried up vines and shrubs, owing to the fact that there is seemingly no natural light down here. You also find huge pools of almond water pooling from the drips up above. But unless you're Hank Schrader, you're unlikely to enjoy these pools, because they're also full of minerals many of which have reached toxic levels of buildup. There are also other pools on this level filled with viscous, dark, tar-like fluid. And if that wasn't enough to make you want to stay away from them, we'd also like to formally advise you not to take a dip. Explorers report that stepping into these pools will result in a huge number of horrifying, grasping human hands popping up, grabbing you, and dragging you into the suffocating depths. So, um... <clears throat> Stay clear of those, please. The Major Explorers Group has opened up some safe routes for explorers to traverse, but given the infinite nature of each backroom's level, your chances of actually finding one of these routes is, sadly, incredibly unlikely. Bummer, right? And if your extensive history of gaming in your previous life taught you anything, it's that bad things lurk in the dark, slimy innards of caves. And you saw the descent. So your fully expanding lesions of pale, flesh-eating bad people be on your ass before you know it. But that would be a pleasant vacation from the things you're actually likely to run into down here. Level 8 has more hostile entities hanging around than you can shake a stick at, even by backroom standards. And one echo tumbling through the darkness of the caves could tell them all exactly where to find you. That's why in this episode, while you're fumbling around in a cave trying not to get killed, eaten, or worse, we're going to give you a rundown of the many beasts you might run into. We'll skip the ones you've already encountered and learned to deal with on previous levels of the backrooms. Because, of course, smilers, crawlers, skin stealers, hounds, clumps, death moths, death rats, and wretches are common here, and instead show you some of the new entities you really should be worrying about right now. First up, you better keep an eye on the walls, in case you fall victim to the deceitful violence of the camo crawlers. These are large humanoid monsters with four powerful arms, pincer-like mandibles similar to an insect, grayish-brown skin, in their default state at least, and large milky-white eyes. This is because, like a lot of creatures you are liable to find inside of a cave, they're blind, and instead locate their victims through powerful hearing and echolocation. But unlike, say, a bat, the camo crawlers don't actively hunt their victims. Instead, they change their skin color to match their surrounding environment, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Next comes a considerably more ethereal creature known as a transporter, or in some cases, a grabber. And sadly, we don't mean Jason Statham or Ethan Hawke will run into you into the back rooms. Sorry. These are actually floating legless shadow people that roam the back rooms more and more frequently the further you go down. For reasons unknown, they have a tendency to appear at T-junctions in passageways. If you don't turn tail and run in enough time, they'll make the passages around you turn into walls, blocking off your escape. At that point, they'll float towards you and grab your shoulders. At this point, one of two things will happen. If you're unlucky, you may just die right there on the spot. If you are ostensibly luckier, you'll be thrown into some other level of the back rooms, where all you can do is hope that you'll be a little safer here. Really, it's best to just avoid the transporter altogether. Speaking of entities that you do well to avoid at all costs, meet the Paralees, some of the most invasive horrors that the backrooms have to offer. These psychic parasites resemble incredibly small garter snakes, which may appear harmless at first, but if they can get close to you, you're in for a horrifying fate. 
They'll use their psychic abilities to disarm you and crawl right into your ear, at which point they'll lock their teeth onto your brain and begin a three-step process. During the first step, which can last for weeks, the person afflicted will begin to lie uncontrollably, deceiving everyone around them for seemingly no reason. During the second phase, they'll begin to travel around the rest of your body, leading to mental unrest and profound physical discomfort. Your speech will be impaired, and you'll find yourself only able to eternally repeat slithering, crawling, slithering, until stage three takes hold. At this point, the paralee will crawl back into your brain and take full control of your body until you die. It will even lay eggs in your body, leading you to become a breeding host for even more paralees. Sleep tight. Except you really shouldn't sleep, because you might run into a hostile child faceling. We know what you're thinking, wait, why are you telling me this again? I encountered a faceling already on level one. And while you are correct there, there's an important distinction between a faceling and a child faceling. The adults are, for the most part, pretty docile and harmless. But if you see what seems like a strange, long-haired little girl in the distance, then buddy, it is time to run for your life. Child facelings are demonic faceless children with sharp blades and nasty attitudes. And if you get caught off guard by a group of them while you're in the cave systems of level 8, you may end up on the business ends of their blades. Next comes an entity that isn't really actively aggressive, but is still best avoided for reasons we'll discuss very soon. The Fault Crawlers. These are centipede-like entities that live in colonies across the back rooms, with elongated mandibles resembling that of a stag beetle. These creatures are highly poisonous, so we'd advise you to avoid eating them at all costs, if you're that kind of weirdo who just loves eating centipedes for some reason. And again, while they won't ever directly attack you, their presence can be a bad omen, as it can be a sign of more dangerous entities lurking nearby. Speaking of even more dangerous entities, we have one of the most mysterious entities in the upper levels of the back rooms, the Reviux. Despite their somewhat whimsical name, these beasts are not to be trifled with. If ever you enter an area and the ground seems to be vibrating, then it's time for you to get the hell out of there, because you're likely about to be the victim of a hungry emerging Reviuk. When you see the ground beginning to crack, it's probably already too late. A pair of huge muscular arms are likely to pop out of the ground and drag you underneath to your doom. Sometime later, your skeleton, picked clean, will be shoved back up to the surface. So be sure to walk without rhythm, and you won't attract the Reviuk. Okay, now let's have a little bit of fun and lighten the mood. Just because we're in a cave shrouded in perpetual darkness doesn't mean we have to be all doom and gloom, right? So to make us all feel a little better, how about we hang out with a bunch of huge spiders? How oh, doesn't that sound like fun? Oh, I can just feel the joy and enthusiasm coming off of you. You're in wonderful luck in this regard because level eight is absolutely filled to the brim with these eight-legged pals. They're so synonymous with this level that these enormous spiders are known as the arachnids of level eight. Let's meet them. The most common forms are simply known as the arachnids. Biologically, they're highly variable, coming in a number of colors and ranging in size from two centimeters to two meters in length. If you're lucky and you stay out of their way, you might avoid one of their highly venomous bites. The mother of all these spiders is known as the queen spider, who is massive in size and will absolutely tower over most human beings who dare step into her domain at seven to 10 meters in length. It probably goes without saying, she's best avoided, right? And then there's the third variety of spider lurking on level eight, eager to menace anyone or anything that invades their personal space, the Franken spiders. Now there's a name that just warms your heart and fills you with absolute comfort and tranquility. These are the friends that just won't go away because for mysterious reasons, the Franken spiders have unparalleled regenerative abilities, which keeps them from ever being permanently killed by an explorer or one of the other entities lurking in the back rooms. We recommend keeping a flashlight handy because light can act as a deterrent against the arachnids of level eight and almond water can work wonders in helping to treat the venom of spider bites when applied topically. And this brings us to the last significant monster of level eight. So significant, in fact, that they have a notable effect on the very topography of the level. These entities are known as the Wranglers. They're huge, snake-like beasts, with the males of the species typically being extremely aggressive and proactive in killing and eating humans, and also, disturbingly, have extremely human-like faces that appear to have broad grins. 
The more mature specimens have gray skin and glowing eyes, and are capable of twisting their bodies in any way they like. They are able to bore through the caves, twisting their bodies like drills. But that isn't their most dangerous and problematic method of locomotion. There was an incident with an unimaginably huge wrangler on level 8 long before you arrived, detailed as follows in the official Major Explorer Group report on the matter. December 17, 2019, 12.30 a.m. A large deceased occurrence of Entity 75 has been found in level 8. It was discovered after an unknown wanderer reported it to MEG Team First Response. A team was promptly sent and took seven hours to get to the location with the help of MEG operative Deezer. These operatives tried burning a path to the exit. However, not enough pyro oil was supplied. A second team arrived with more supplies. This allowed a path to be burned through the entity. At a later date, the rest was burnt away, the amount totaling to two cubic miles. This anomaly is an old male wrangler, and it's the biggest wrangler, possibly the largest entity, recorded. Many public cavern systems in level 8 have been blocked off by a mass of decaying plant-like flesh of a wrangler. The wrangler died during no-clip burrow. It seems to have died of starvation. The number of skeletons and indigestible objects found in here was considerable. These skeletons belong to some unknown entities. Some human-made objects and other essential supplies were found. Other mysterious objects were found as well. The MEG have sent backup teams of Regiment Quick Match to help the wanderers trapped in the caverns of Level 8 due to the large Wrangler corpse. Truly anything can happen in the back rooms, especially in a place as mysterious as Level 8. You take a breath, now knowing the sheer breadth of entities you might face here. You take a careful step forward and fall through the floor into the next level. Want to stay tuned for the next exciting exploration into the back rooms as we delve deeper and deeper into this liminal abyss? Be sure to subscribe to The Backrooms Explained and turn on notifications so you never miss another expedition. Now go check out Level 9, Darkened Suburb, for more exercises into Backrooms Terror.